Hi everyone, today's evening headlines. 24th Hornbill Festival begins on a high note. Unity prime need of the hour says Rio. Eastern Sumihoho officially affiliated to ENPO. NFHRCC appeals public not to use Doyang Bridge. The 24th edition of the Hornbill Festival, also known as the Festival of Festivals, got off to a colorful start as thousands of visitors, both domestic and foreign, thronged the main arena of the Naga Heritage Village Kisama here on Friday. Nagaland Governor L.A. Ganeshan, the chief host of the festival, in his address said the annual Hornbill Festival was a celebration that not only showcased the rich mix of Naga heritage but also embodied the spirit of unity in diversity. Ganeshan observed that the festival was more than just a showcase of Naga's rich culture. He said it was an open invitation to the world, welcoming all to immerse themselves in the warm embrace of Naga hospitality, to witness the warriors dance, to hear the ancient folk songs resonate, and to gaze at the intricate weaves of traditional attire. Ganeshan said Hornbill Festival was not just a celebration, but also a testament to the enduring spirit of Naga people and their deep-rooted traditions. Unity prime need of the hour says Rio on 61st Statehood Day. Nagaland Chief Minister Nifiri on Friday asserted that unity was the prime need of the hour, emphasizing renewing and strengthening the bonds of unity and brotherhood. Addressing the 61th Statehood Day celebration at Nagaland Civil Secretariat Plaza here on Friday, Rio prioritized peaceful resolution of the Naga political issue to fructify the innermost desire of the people. He reiterated the state government's unwavering commitment towards peaceful resolution of the long-pending Naga political issue and called upon all Naga political groups, the sender and other stakeholders to collaborate in overcoming their differences and reach a peaceful resolution in a time-bound manner. Eastern Sumihoho officially affiliated to ENPO Eastern Sumihoho is officially affiliated as the eighth federating tribal body under the Eastern Nagaland People's Organization at the CKS Hall, Twinsung Town on Thursday. In a statement issued by ENPO Media Cell ENPO President R. Zepikyo Sangdam, Speaking on the occasion asserted that the event once again sent a clear message the organization principle of unity, peace and harmony. NFHRCC appeals public not to use Doyang Bridge. In view of the ongoing rectification work of Doyang Bridge at Governor's Camp Lepengnian, the Nagaland Foothill Road Coordination Committee has appealed to the public, particularly those living in the vicinity, not to use Doyang Bridge that has been completed close till December 20, 2023. In a press release, NFHRCC convener Supu Jamir and Assistant General Secretary Chenitung Hamso also informed the travelers from other districts planning to use the Doyang Bridge to take note of the restriction. The committee stated that use of the light vehicles could be considered on technical advice from the concerned department in view of the Christmas season. That's all for now. To guess the status, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.